Hi guys, it's Olga Heldwein and I'm coming again with the same project. No, actually I uploaded this video yesterday and I noticed that something is wrong with voiceover and as we have giveaway in this one, I'm re-uploading that. I saved all your comments and I just made last video unpublic. But it's there and your comments are there so everyone who commented will still I have a chance to win this stamp set. This stamp set is from All and Create, it's called Spooks. We have two characters here, we have Pumpkin and we have Ghost and we have a lot of face uh, expressions that you can stamp into them. Uh, I really, really, really like this stamp set. The characters are slightly bigger than all my previous ones and by the way how cute is my school pen holder I love everything school shaped uh, and you can basically stamp your facial expressions uh, inside your characters you can also stretch those stamps quite a lot you can color them in different ways and this Friday I will make a video for you how to stretch this stamp set uh, a little bit more and some examples you can see at the end of this video when I'm showing my uh, booth samples uh, where I color the pumpkin as the Frankenstein and I add some nice details on the ghost so it looks moldy and really uh, more realistic cartoony and I would uh, describe my coloring style exactly like that uh, cartoony realistic I have no idea I really enjoy my coloring right now I know that soon I will be hating the one that I'm doing right now and because you know with practice everything goes better uh, actually this facial expression that I'm coloring right now it's my favorite uh, expression of all of them available in the set and I'm starting with my lightest color, then I'm mapping uh, some lines and shadows with darker color, then I'm going back with the lightest and again with darker and with the mid-tones. For everything that is yellow and orange, uh, I'm using purple to add shadows. Basically, I'm using purple for every color because I really like how those shadows look like. Um, yeah, and each pumpkin I'm trying to color a little bit different, so this one is more on yellowy orange side, but you will see the other one because I am uh, planning to use two characters here and I want to make their faces light up and for that we will use Chibitronix, so every time when you press this little button and the pumpkin faces will light up but first we have to finish the coloring and right now I'm just smoothing everything with the uh, really light yellow colors and important part is to keep your crayons really sharp and not press them too hard we want soft um, translucent layers of even color because uh, all this wax will build up on your paper and final result will be the best if you just go with a lot of really uh, thin coats of color and let the crayons blend together. So I'm cutting off or cutting out sorry all uh, elements in the face then the mouth and eyes and I'm doing that before I will cut out all my characters. And here you can see that thanks to that, that one on the left side is a little bit more yellow and one on the right side is a little bit more orange. They don't look like the same stamp, just um, yeah, just like the same. Okay, so to build up my background, I'm using tombstones and uh, a bat and both of those uh, elements you can download for free from group 
people and create fanatics and I will strongly encourage you to join the group there is a lot of inspiration shared by our fans and whole design team and I really love to check out the group everyone are so creative and you know the stamps the stencils are so versatile so everyone can find something for themselves and we can inspire each other and I really 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 love the group by the way with this video we have giveaway from all and create one lucky winner will win spooks stamp set and to enter the giveaway you just need to comment below um, and like uh, all and create on Facebook and on Instagram and all the links are in the description box so check out the description box and if you want to win the stamp set just let me know in the comments you have time till next Monday I think it's October 30th so one day before Halloween I hope to uh, upload um, more videos this week because I had huge plans but I was talking about it in the previous voiceover live get in the way you know my computer broke down I have a lot of traveling um, lately and then yeah computer broke down a little bit it's not that completely so I'm still using that I'm using that to record voiceover to make all my designs and we have like some really cool stuff coming really soon that I had to uh, design uh, at this time so it slows me down incredibly but new one is on his way so I'm excited uh, and by the way I'm trying to record the video with one approach uh, with no deleting and scratching my voiceover so if I'm running my mouth I'm really sorry um, but it's my like I said it's a second approach and I hope that this time everything uh, will uh, go smooth I'm marking the uh, area where the faces of my pumpkins are and there is a lot of distance foams under those pumpkins I really like when they are dimensional and I'm marking the spots where I want my lights to go and for lights as I said I will use Chibitronic system I will show you everything step by step it's quite easy but for me it took few uh, tries through tri few tryouts to make it right because uh, my mind is not electronic at all but it's easy so inside the Chibitronic set you always have copper tape you always have some batteries and lights we need a pocket for our battery oh no not the pocket <laughs> yeah still uh, I noticed that I have a hole under my pumpkins and I wanted to cover it up so on piece of bellum I just smudge my yellow marker and I will just stick it uh, on the back of my panel and uh, this way you cannot see the hole under the pumpkin there is an orange background so even when card is not light up and uh, they have uh, yellow inside of the faces I wanted to use glitter cardstock but my uh, tear card will not go really well on uh, glitter cardstock it needs nice and smooth surface to adhere better so I just use double sided tape uh, on the edges and it will look like I use solid glitter base so in the corner I put the trap for the battery Mm, and then I'm going with my copper tape and I'm trying to have one long piece connecting my lights and my battery and in this moment I realized that I put my pocket in totally wrong direction because um, it have to open and close itself so the fold have to go against the tape in this case and I'm just securing uh, my tape with uh, my bone folder to make sure that everything is uh, you know stick nice and flat and then I'm making the second connection because one is for minus on your battery and second one is for the plus on your battery and this piece was too short so I'm making sure that I'm cutting the second piece long enough to overlap the first one every time when you have to 
you know like fix the circuit you have to overlay overlap the tape and make sure that everything is you know nice and even and the connection is the best one that you can have to make sure that everything connects I'm securing uh, with uh, double layer of copper tape on the places when uh, the connection will touch my battery and on the uh, uh, fold of the flap to make sure that everything works nice and uh, easy and next step you have to make sure that battery is correct side up because obviously it wasn't and I have to turn it um, and then I'm trapping the battery inside my pocket with um, 3D foams and I'm not taking off the um, uh, you know the paper from my uh, double sided tape uh, around my battery I want this part not to stick to make sure that the connection will not seal itself and uh, the battery will not uh, run down next step is uh, surrounding everything with uh, the layer of uh, foam tape and then sticking the button the button is just uh, i just printed out the sentiment uh, press here i added nice black edges and every time when you press it you just uh, close the circuit and lights light up and i love this effect i made so many cards with uh, this uh, lights up effect and every time i have so much fun with playing with them i made some for uh, um, booth samples so you could see them uh, in uk in our booth uh, in hachanda show i really 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 like uh, to play with the spooks and the lights because I think that they they are just much make in hell in this case <laughs> um, okay I'm adding some finishing details like shading on the tombstones I made with really soft pencils I'm making um, some stroke with uh, white gel pen and adding some highlights i like when they are smudged with your finger and everything looks nice and soft and i'm decorating inside as well with uh, some white embossing so before i uh, emboss anything i'm taking off the static with translucent face powder right now it looks like i did a gray blob uh, on my card but later on when everything is uh, embossed I will just take a nice soft brush and I will dust off the excess of face powder and in this with this technique you can make sure that embossing powder will not stick anywhere when you don't want it and your um, embossing will be nice and crisp so I'm turning off my backup lights uh, but unfortunately it was day so it's not so nicely visible how they light up so you can check them out on the other examples uh, here are the first cards that I made and you can check them out in uh, on create booth as I said and the coloring is a little bit uh, different because it changed with time uh, you know uh, I'm coloring more and more of the same image and I'm getting more and more confident with that and right now you can see the ghost it's a sneak peek for a Friday video I will show you how to color uh, the ghost to make him look creepy and distressed and remember about giveaway and checking out the description box and that's all for today thank you so much for your attention have a nice and spooky day <laughs> bye <laughs>